The film Ghosts of Girlfriends Past is really a film that's forgettable and it raises all the kinds of cliches that Hollywood films are all too familiar with. Matthew McConaughey, who in a sense is a walking cliche of his very own in the big screen, is here. He plays a philanderer. Uh, what's new there for the characters he's played? A man who believes that his one existence and purpose in life is to be with every woman he can possibly be with and float through life without any commitments or attachments whatsoever. And he plays a photographer, an apt cliche. He takes so many pictures of the most beautiful and attractive women that he can catch his eyes with and get his eyes on, but also beds them as well. And we see that here in early scenes for the film. Ghosts of Girlfriends Past is definitely a cliche of the very living present in Hollywood, a present which shows women as bumbling fools, bimbos, and commitment hungry to the point where they seem like vultures. And the most apt cliche or stereotype is invoked with one of the characters who seems like a real quote-unquote bridezilla. And she plays the wife-to-be of Brecken Meyer, who hasn't really been in a whole lot of movies over the last few years, but he makes an appearance here as the brother of Connor Mead, played by Mr. McConaughey. He has a small role in the film, but it's Matthew McConaughey's character who's taught a lesson by Michael Douglas, a ghost, I uh, guess one of the ghosts involved in this film. He plays Wayne Mead, the playboy emeritus, as it were, to Mr. Connor Mead, who has followed his every move, learning from the school of Wayne Mead's playboy instructorship. Some of that is whimsical and funny and offensive and definitely something that you will probably get bored with, but if you're a Michael Douglas fan, you can't help but admire the way he jaunts through this role. Mr. Douglas, ironically, is the only good thing really in this film. Jennifer Garner comes in and she's advertised as getting second billing to Mr. McConaughey, but she's a real distant character here. She doesn't get more than half an hour of screen, play, screen time in a film that's about two hours long. Film Girls to Girlfriends Past makes plenty of stumbles and cliched mistakes, as I've already mentioned, and it's a film that will draw a few chuckles and not very much else than that. Ghosts of Girlfriends Past is worth waiting for on DVD if you care to. I'm Omar Moore for PopcornReal.com.